So we're going to demonstrate Fast Plus, a Delphix joint solution with AWS for migrating SAP applications to the public cloud. The first step in this migration process involves ingesting on-prem SAP data into the Delphix Dynamic Data Platform. Here we log into an on-premise instance of Delphix that's running in a data center. This instance is synchronized with a production SQL Server database that contains data from SAP ECC. We can see here the snapshots that have been collected over time. By policy, we're collecting a snapshot every 30 minutes. Now we're logging into a second instance of Delphix. This instance is deployed in AWS, and we're going to replicate data from the on-prem instance of Delphix to this cloud-based instance. We create a profile that defines what we're going to replicate and the frequency of replication. Then we enable the profile and now we see the progress bar indicating replication of the data to AWS um, is in progress right now. Now that the cloud-based instance of Delphix has the replicated production data, we're going to provision a copy of Prod that we'll use to prepare for migration of that data to SAP HANA. Here we're going to provision a virtual data copy in AWS called VEU MQA2. We put this copy into a group called SAP Migration, or we'll organize copies we're using for SAP HANA migration. We're going to keep the default snapshot policy for backing up data in this virtual data copy. We don't mask this copy because we want to work with real production data for the HANA migration. Now we click Submit to provision a virtual data copy. To facilitate execution of HANA migration, we create bookmarks for our virtual data copy corresponding to specific points in time that are important during the migration process. The first bookmark corresponds to a point in time before we use the SAP DMO tool to migrate data in the virtual copy to HANA. The second bookmark corresponds to a point in time when we start to configure the SAP app to prep for migration. Those configurations change the underlying database. The third bookmark indicates the point at which the data and application are ready for HANA migration. We can revert our virtual data copy to any of those bookmarks whenever needed. Now here we use the AWS SAP HANA Quick Start Guide to provision the SAP HANA environment in AWS. We launch it, which triggers the execution of CloudFormation scripts. You can see we run scripts uh, SAP HANA on AWS 1, 2, and 3. This has created the actual production SAP HANA environment. Here you can see an EC2 console in AWS instance uh, running the Delphix engine in the cloud, SAP Delphix 5251, uh, a different instance for the SAP HANA target environment, SAP HANA Master 2.0, and an instance for our SAP source environment with the virtual data we provisioned, SAP source. We now show here that we've configured our SAP application to connect to the virtual database that has the source data for our HANA migration. This will enable us to run the SAP DMO tool to convert the source data and migrate it to the SAP HANA target environment we created using the CloudFormation script. To summarize, we've shown how to ingest SAP production data into Delphix, replicate that data to AWS, then provision virtual data copies in the cloud that serve as a source for migration to HANA. Virtual data copies can easily be refreshed to reflect the latest state of on-prem data or restore to different points in time. These capabilities pave the way to faster, simpler migration to running SAP on HANA in Amazon Web Services.